Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lafrix, and of course, our two newest additions to our little happy family, Chuck the level 102 Giganto and his lovely bride, Coco. Uh, both, of course, very original names. Well done, me. Ugh. But yes, today we're going to be doing a bit of experimentation, because... Um, it dawned on me, after I um, captured Chuck here, who actually was originally named, by the way, for his ability to chuck you, to throw you, but then it dawned on me, particularly once I put the hat on it, oh lord, I've named it after Chuck Norris. But um, it dawned on me, once I captured this, that these animals, the Gigantos, are actually, technically speaking, the easiest things on the in the game to actually tame. And that's purely because they don't fight back. They don't fight back, and you don't need to knock them out. And you have, you don't need to have a, an extremely high amount of narco berries because, of course, you don't need them. Which makes it incredibly easy for very new players. Also, of course, they, they don't need a saddle, which um, increases their easiness as well, because you can just, well, use them straight off. So, the big thing for me is, I want to see, is this the new best animal to try and go for early game, or at least to try and work up towards? Is it better to try and go for these than it is perhaps a, where are you, over there, a Fiomia or a Trike? Because, well, although Fiomias, in my opinion, they do, they do hold a special place in my heart as one of my favourite animals on the, in the game, and Trikes are kind of awesome, that's a dodo, and they're all next to Pooh. What if everything and poo today? What a good start. It's going to be a crap episode. <laughs> I'll bet it will uh, I want to see, is it better to just, as a new player in single player, go straight for one of these things? Because they can even gather stove, or sorry, um, wood for you incredibly well, and even, of course, fibre. So it's a big bonus having one of these around. Particularly since they gather fibre, even if you aren't well using them. In fact, you can, I can only do that. Oh, although I should have, I should do this now. There, there is a small correction from the previous video. They will gather fibre even if they're not on wander mode. They just can't be on follow. That was the thing which was stopping them. At least I think that was the case. Let's have a quick look. See, so put one down. Put her on follow. Let's see if Coco will go over here. Go on, Coco. Eventually she will follow me. There we go. Ooh, bit of lag there. And stop. And don't follow me. Well, after taking a poop again. Yep, she's eating. Okay. So, yeah. So, what am I actually doing then? What am I testing out? So, Coco has been leveled a little bit already, um, admittedly. We got her at level 11. She's already level 30, meaning that, yes, she has been leveled quite a bit. However, that's because the game's leveling process right now for animals has been increased. That's why I've been having such an easy time with my um, Argentavis and Angron, leveling them further than they than they were, which was at a stage where it was difficult. So we're going to ignore that and just um, try to see how powerful these actually are. Can these animals lead you into the battle of the kind of more middle ground, the in... what, what do you want to call it? The um, more inland versus some of the more predatory species. Basically, I want to see if I can kill a Rex of equivalent level as Coco, that's why I'm not um, using the level 100, and a Spino also of equivalent level. And if I can, then well, I'm going to happily say this is probably the best starting animal. So, let's have a bit of a gander and let's see if we can find level uh, a level 30 plus Rex and a 30 plus Spino. Now, I do know there are generally Spino spawns just around this corner. However, if we go down this way, there are both Spinos and Rexes. Rexes tend to go into the watery section here. Also, these things swim pretty well, which is quite surprising, as their turning speed is... Ooh, that's nice. I wonder if the scuba gear will let you see a bit more clearly underwater. Oh yes, that's what we're doing next episode anyway. I have leveled up now, so we can do the scuba gear. We'll be doing that next episode. So down here, many a time there's been a Rex and even more so Spinos, as they can spawn in that little bit of water over there. Nothing just yet. We are currently on times three animals again, which is accounting for some of the frame loss. So I do apologise for that. I'll be changing that over for the next episode. Okay, we're not going to level up just now. We're just going to leave it there annoying us, because I don't want to make this thing even more powerful. But again, it is showing how easy it is to level, so if you did want to go inland, just kill some of the dilos and stuff um, in the outer regions before going in. 
Okay, I feel like editing is about to happen. Well, a bit of a change of um, idea. We are now here on Carnivore Island. Basically, we wish to be the king of this particular island. So, this is probably the best place to test out certain animals. Now, I do want to note again, this is a leveled up version of the Giganto. We got it at level... Um, at level 12, level 11, I can't quite remember, but it is now level 32, and of course we have various stats to kind of um, demonstrate that. But once again, that's quite easy to do early on, and I just want to see how good this thing is at fighting in comparison to animals like the Raptor and the Fiomia, and other such um, early-ish animals you can get. Level 63, well that's, oh. Okay, if we can kill this, then I would say this thing's really powerful. Go! We can't we can outrun it, we can just run to the water. And, ooh, we are taking some damage, but no, no chance. The, the Rex is going to die, definitely. Oh, it crushed its head into, into its legs! Fearsome creature, fearsome indeed. Did it drop any items to you straight away, or do I have to... Ooh, hello. Um, don't care about that. Do care about the arrows. I will take the narco berries. I will take these because I'll just give those to the lovely Coco we're currently using. Any? Oh. Well, no. Um, no other things. What do I? What do I want to say? No helmet or anything. Well, that's a shame. But there we go. So the leather helmet's about to break. So I'm using the hide hat with Coco because that's again quite a, a low level item. It's easy to repair. So that's what I'd kind of expect to see them wearing. But of course, perhaps a cloth hat before that. So right now, it really does seem like, for an early game kind of um, animal, this is unrivaled. I mean, the only thing it's lacking is the ability to gather berries, but of course, into level 20, there's no animals that can gather berries efficiently, and of course, level 20 gives you the trike, which is very good at gathering berries, very fast at gathering berries. I'm not sure if the turtles can even gather them, and if they can, it certainly isn't to a... Um, a particularly good level. Now, I should have a torch with me somewhere. Okay, let's see if we can find another um, another largish animal to fight. Aha! We, we are going to interrupt a fight between an Argent Avis and a Rex. I can't see this going well for either of those two since we just killed a much higher level Rex a second ago, but that was the only thing really left on the island. Ground! Oh, there you go. Hello, Carno. Just in time. To be absolutely smashed into the ground. Yeah. Oh, there's another Carno over there. Let's see if we can... Well, actually, I'm not sure if it was, was... Was it Carno or a Rex? I think it's a Carno. It doesn't look big enough to be a Rex. I'm actually going so far as to say right now that perhaps this particular animal, the lovely Giganto, might be a tiny bit overpowered. I mean, it's so easy to tame, and yet... I mean, it takes a while to tame it, but, um, of course, when you're taming it, you can just leave it to kill predators by itself. You don't necessarily need to defend it. Well... Oh my lord, look at that mouth. Um, I feel like I shouldn't be just staring, but at the same time... Well, I'm glad it stopped, because that could have been creepy. <laughs> Holy crap! What did you do? I'm so glad you, you aren't nat um, naturally aggressive to players. These things would be just destructive. Now, um, the reason why... Okay, yeah, one of the other reasons why this has all kind of been prompted by me to think of if they're so good early game is because um, Chuck, my level 100 and something, um, Giganto, I actually found on a beach. On a beach all by itself, next to turtles and a few dilos. Really, really easy to approach, and honestly, it didn't take all that much m more time to tame than Coco here, because, well, if you look at their food, it's actually quite low. Their natural and food level is quite low, and how you tame an animal is essentially giving it as much food as its food bar needs. Well, there's another Rex. I'm just going into this with absolutely no fear now. Since we killed that high level one, it's just like, well, what on earth could possibly um, threaten us? I don't, even think we, I don't even think we need to kill the Spino at this stage, because, well... It can't possibly beat this. I also still haven't figured out which berry is its favourite. I actually don't think it's, it's the purple berries anymore. I could be wrong there, I really could, but it doesn't seem to have such a huge increase, whereas I think it might be the yellows. I think it was a saber. So essentially this episode has become me beating up the inhabitants of um, Predator Island using a giant ape. 
to increase its melee damage? Sure, why? We apparently leveled twice. Yep, I still have experience times three on purely because of my extremely high level and me wanting to actually show you new items, which I do think is actually translating to the dinosaur. So imagine, so the, uh, yeah, any, any dinosaurs I own, any animals I own, in the case of the ape. <laughs> just look at this! <laughs> oh my god, just the fact she's just doing these like, really kung fu style hand movements there for a second, it was just knocking them miles. Okay, I think I'm stuck. That is one thing I do, I have noticed. They get stuck quite easily, but they seem to be able to move out of, like, um, bodies and stuff easier. Well, yeah, there you go, when you're not mounted on them. Oh, hello. Ah, okay, I'm going in the water. Thankfully, that went straight for Coco and not me. Still horrific, but still. Okay, then let's, um, let's see if there's anything else to hunt. There's one over there. Let's just go back over to the main island, I suppose. Come here, friends. I have something to show you. <laughs> I just headbutted it to death. I think we should increase our melee damage. Oh, this thing's getting ridiculous now. It's not going to be long until this is as strong as Angron. I would like to see what the base damage is, but currently um, those stats aren't available on the wiki or anything. Is that a optical illusion? Is that standing on the water? Um, ow. One shot. This will be two shots, I suppose. This will be two shots, I imagine, as well. Yep. This is not easy. This is not difficult to level. Um, yeah, I don't think we really need. I don't think we really need to do any more. But let's see if we can get to level forty before we leave. Since the um, the, the swim over was a bit annoying. Yeah, but yeah, Coco and Chuck are going to be permanently moved very soon. Let's have a look over to our island down here and will be left permanently on wonder mode where they can live out their days picking at um picking at wild plants eating the berries and um harvesting fiber ah what a nice ooh a yellow supply drop let's go and do that i think it's safe to say we are the king and queen <laughs> oh lord of carnivore island as a herbivore and a human that yeah yeah that's absolutely fine an omnivore and a herbivore of a king of um, Carnivore Island. It makes complete sense to me. Okay, let's go and get this then. Oh, there's is that Carno? But yeah, if you ever if you ever, ever wish to level an animal, come here seriously. And and the animal's strong enough to actually kill the inhabitant. That's that's level eighty one, Saber. Oh, I'm out of stamina, I can't run. Thank you for walking into me again. That's the one thing I will say as well. well th 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 there's been a lot of one things. I will admit this is quite a late night episode, and um, that's why I'm recording such a simple thing. Ooh, an Avis egg. The problem is I'll probably aggro that on me, and I don't really want to fight that myself. So let's kill that with Coco. And let's grab the egg. Yay, food. And you'll give me something I don't need. Ah, oh, put. Purple and gold at the moment have been such bad drops for me. I'm still on the lookout for a red supply drop. So we are three levels off. Let's at least get to level 40. So yeah, this whole episode is just going to be me killing things at this stage. So let's continue with that theme, get some more levels, and then head back home. Well, this is a little bit weird. It could have been the case... Let's just kill this. It could have been the case the Argent Ivoris was actually on a bit of that island there and I just couldn't see it properly. Nope, there it is. Never mind. So it is just standing in the water bugged out. I have seen a few, um... Ooh, that one's high level, yep. A few Pteranodons do the same. We are actually finally starting to lose health. This thing doesn't have as much health as some of the larger predators and certainly doesn't do as much um, area of effect damage. I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to beat a, um, a leveled up Rex, when you've, of course, as I've said before in the past, um, leveling up an animal with the player is much, much more important than the, than the wild level. But of course, the wild level you capture it at get, um, basically affects how much of each stat it gets when you level it. So it, uh, it's really weird. It's kind of a bizarre thing. If you level an, an, an animal up five times from level one to level six, there's a good chance that thing's going to have better stats in the thing you've leveled than a level 40 or 50 wild. That's not always the case, and particularly not so with health, but that's kind of what I've noticed. So this being all the way from level 11 to level 37, yeah. 
it's actually remarkably powerful. And can cut down trees in two hits. Well, that is interesting. We've got a Cybertooth saddle. Actually, a really good one, armor-wise. We're going to be keeping this. And I do realize I've got a lot of narco berries. Hmm. And we're currently in Predator Island, where Cybertooths tend to spawn a lot. Also, I'm really wide down. Let's start throwing some of the bows away to start off with, and then the Avis Talons. I might be tempted to um, try and get a high-level Cyber before we go. Let's have a look on that island there, the little mini island next to the main island. Let's see if there's anything there for us to hunt and destroy. Kind of hoping to see more Rexes and stuff, because obviously they give more experience. Uh, let's just jump. And, yes, we landed on the rock. Extremely graceful. I do wish these things could jump, it must be said. I should have looked at the level. We could have tried to time it. Level 54, yeah, not much higher than the ones I've already got back at home, so not too important. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Hello, aquatic friend. How are you? I'm not going to kill you, because you're too adorable. Really? There's already another spawn? Wow, this place is a hot spot for um, supply drop spawns. Did not even realise. We'll go and grab that in a second. Anything at all? Anything? Nope, nope. Sadly, complete nopeness there. I kind of want to, to, grow, to go and help out that Avis, but if I went too close, it would try and kill me. So let's go on this rock and let's see if we can perhaps take a quick shot at it. Well, I may have found out the issue. As you can see, spawning in and out, there's a good chance that this particular bird is stuck in a rock. Also, this is nowhere as deep as I thought it was. I thought it went down quite early. Wow! A whole pack of Carnos. The, the respawn right here is very quick. No, you're not stuck. Hello. I don't want to kill you. I want to try and help you. Fine. We're freeing you from your prison. Oh, my hat broke. You meanie. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, this thing is ridiculous. How much are we off? Not even that much. Again, they've really, really made it so much easier for you to level up dinosaurs and um, animals alike. It's kind of ridiculous. I remember when I first started leveling up my animals, like um, before the giant wipe burden and, uh, and such, it took a very long time. I and mean, even considering the, the experience buff we currently have, because again, Max, me being so high level, I don't really know why they've made it so easy. I think perhaps because they've been pushing like the new game mode, the um, survival of the fittest and stuff, which is more of a fast-paced thing, they perhaps want to, to speed everything up. That could be something to do with that, but um, yeah. It'd be a good time to, to start new. It, it, it would be said, it'd be a good time to start new. That does say level, I said level 116, and I was like, oh lord, that's going to be actually quite a hard fight. Yeah, it, it still takes a lot of, I mean, even with the hat, <laughs> even with the hat, it still takes quite a bit of damage, but it just dishes it out so fast. So it's not tanky. It's definitely not meant to be tanky, but... Did they just kill that... Rex? Oh, I, oh, I wanted to kill the Rex! I wanted to get the experience and level up even further, and more powerful. Oh, one more level, and then we're going to reach level 40. And then we'll call this half episode a day. I've decided this is going to be a half episode. It's an episode which didn't really further our cause, but I thought was good enough to be documented. I'll probably even have a little warning message at the start saying so, because I'm just that kind of weird person. If there's not, then... Whoops. Oh, you have the mice bonus. That's not good. <laughs> it's just the fact it knocks them so far away. Like, flips them and just does all sorts of stupidity. It's like a really bad old school um, action film. Also, these things poop more than any animal I know of, other than perhaps the Ephiomia. It's, it's a shame it can't harvest meat. Anything else on this mini island for us to kill? Nope, okay then, we'll head towards the um, the supply drop and kill a few things along the way. 
Well, we did reach the supply drop, and we've got some new uh, bl some new blueprints. And I'm just looking over here just to make sure that's not a red supply drop over there. It can be a bit difficult to tell with the sky, but yeah, it's fine. That's just purple. Nothing of interest for us. So let's go ahead and get our final few kills, get to level 40, and return home, and um, and reunite Coco and Chuck. There's a few Avises over there. Oh, something going on over here. I think maybe Carno? Yep, that's a Carno and a Raptor. It's kind of weird which animal won't attack which animal. It's, it takes a bit of getting used to. Because the Raptors won't attack Carnos and can't damage them by accident, and of course vice versa. And I, and I believe Dilos are the same, but I'm not sure. But I think they can attack the Scorpions. I wish I could find out, but instead we're going to kill them all. There we go. We could have found out something there for science, but no. They ended up attacking us like silly things. Ivis, Ivis, Ivis. Oh, Ivis is all fighting over a corpse, which means they're all going to get in there. Which means it'll be really easy for us to just kind of... Another supply drop. Wow, I should just stay here and just farm supply drops. That I think I will the next time I'm leveling an animal. That is probably one of the more disturbing things I've seen in this game. The ball of Avis. The ball of dead Avis. The ball of corpses. The corpse ball, if you will. There we go. Well, I like how she's just looking down at them like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, that was me. That <laughs> was leveled again. <laughs> Well, anyway, Sir and Sirette, I have actually run out of time today. Like I say, it was going to be only a half episode, and I think we've done it quite well. We have... Whoa. Let's kill the Rex first. Then we'll say goodbye. But I think I've um, successfully shown that the new animal is very, very... What level are you? Level 60, was that? Boom. Is very, very powerful, and certainly something you should look into getting if you're new to the game. And have started on a new... Um, on a new world, on a new character. As well, little else seems to beat it. So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And next time, which will hopefully be either tomorrow or the day after, we will have a full episode where we'll be testing out the scuba gear and possibly the electric grill, as I will be trying to level before then. So thank you for watching again, and goodbye. Hello everyone. Before we get into this video, I would like like to just say this is a half episode continuing from part 57 um, and we're simply going to explore more elements of the Gigantopithecus and its ability to be a really good starter animal. So if you haven't watched the last episode there will be a link in the description below. That's all, I just thought I'd give this warning beforehand because I'm going straight from their recording and I hope um, that will just, you know, make a lot more sense to people. So, onwards with the intro.